Hi and welcome back. Um, I announced that we today will um, will calibrate the X, Y, Z and the extruder, but I decided to do only on the X, Y and Z axis, and then I do the extruder in in part three because otherwise it becomes too long. So um, we have had the introduction and this is part two where we now will calibrate the, the printer and for that we need to print some tools and uh, we need to go into the firmware for the Van Hau duplicator it's easy we can do it uh, through the through the panel and some other printers uh, like my Ender 4 I have to, to make these changes in in my slicer but here it's very easy, but the procedure is the same for all printers. First thing we need to do is to um, download my calibrator tool and we will afterwards print that out and then we will use my online tool that is uh, free to use for doing the calculation, calculations. So follow me to download and let us print uh, uh, the, the calibrator tool. So you click the link below in the description where it says the XYZ calibrator and it will bring you to Thinkiverse to this page here and you can download all the files by clicking download and you will get this and I will save it. Here we're done and inside the zip files you find two files you find the my standard calibrator and it has a, a set axis of 50 millimeters but I also made one with 100 millimeters but the concept is the same I always use 50 millimeters so when you have done that you uh, import it to your slicer in my case it is simplify 3d and the settings it's also in the description of the file or at Thinkiverse you have a top and bottom layer of three I use uh, one outline parameter infill should be 15 percent and the da, 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 uh, speed should be 4000 millimeters per minute um, and then you are good to go and that will give you a print time should be approximately 30 minutes and it is 30 minutes as you can see here so let's print this out and then we will measure. So oh, you need uh, three things besides your the tool you printed and um, that is one is a calibre, piece of paper and a pen. So let's get started. First I will measure the X and the Y and the Z axis and it is printed on which axis is who, uh, which. Yeah? This is the X and this is the Y and this is the Z. When you put it into the slicer, don't move it around because it has to be, otherwise the axis will not be correct and you maybe forgot uh, which axis was, uh, was what. So the first I will measure now is my X axis and it says Matter of fact, it's quite accurate because I have calibrated mine, but it's 99.96. So let me put that in. 99.96. I mess up my Y axis. And uh, my Y is not that good. It's 100.11. Point. 11, let me try again, just to be sure. But in fact, 100.15. So, 
I will enter this. I will have to correct my my y-axis, and then I measure the c-axis. And it says 50.1. So there is two axes I need to, uh, to change, and that is my y-axis and my c-axis. My x-axis is, matter of fact, quite good. It's on 99.96. It's a 400 uh, outside. My Y is uh, 0 0.15 millimeters off, and my Z axis is 0 0.1 off. So, uh, this piece of paper I will take to the computer and we will enter it into the calculator. And when you have done that, we will go to the printer and put in the new uh, calculated uh, steps per minute. See you at the computer. So click on the link below in the description that says uh, calculator. And when it starts up, uh, you will maybe start in the extrusion calculator. You just click here, XYZ uh, calibration, and you come to this page here. So you have the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis here. And we will start the steps per millimeter. What is is what is in the firmware. So we need to go find that. We will first do this afterwards. Um, the X was 99 and use comma 0.96. And we had a constructed length on the X axis was 100 millimeter. On the y-axis, we had 100.15. Uh, the constructed length was 100 millimeters. Then we had the measured length of 15.1. And the constructed of... Yeah. So, we still don't get any new steps per millimeters because I need to read out the the steps uh, uh, we have per millimeter in the firmware of the, of the printer. So let's do that. So to uh, find the steps per millimeter uh, for the stepper motors is very easy. You just uh, point uh, settings, motor settings, and you then have uh, the x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis. And I will write down these uh, numbers and we and we will go to the computer again. So we are back here at the calculator and now we need to enter the steps per millimeter that, that we just read off in the, uh, in the firmware. And uh, on the x-axis it was 74,96 and the y-axis was 80,1. And the z-axis was 400. So, you can now see you got some new values down here. It, this makes uh, 74.98. I will not uh, change my x-axis. But you can see my, my um, the new steps per millimeter here on the, on the y-axis will, matter of fact, be 80. So my Y will be 80 and my Z axis will be 399.2. This I will make 399.2. So now we go and enter these new steps per millimeter into the firmware and uh, save them to the printer. So back at the printer and again we go to settings, motor settings. And we decided not to do anything with the x-axis, but the y-axis we would matter in fact become 80. So I punch 80 in here. And the set axis would be 399.2. There we go. And 
now you need to confirm the settings otherwise they will not be in the system so let's take a look 79.9 399.2 and the e-access we will look on in part three so i did uh, print um, a new tool and i want to measure it now and now we're excited to see how close we are to the 50 millimeter the 100 and the 100 millimeters so let's get the caliper and take a look on the set axis we are exactly on 50.03 that's very good on the x axis we are 99.98 very good and the y axis says 100.02 so it's accurate now it's it is really accurate now and um, ah, it's too small but it's not possible to see but now it's calibrated and this is how you do and it will give you round holes equal uh, if you if you print a, a square it it will be uh, the measure will be correct every time you 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 print out and uh, also when you need to fit parts together it is absolutely a must to have a well calibrated printer so next will be part three where we will calibrate the extruder so let's move to that and uh, see you next time in part three bye bye